For today's cup of coffee, <laughs> Kid and I were just talking about uh, ponds running dry. Yes. It's really not. There's all kinds of stories out there. That's why we encourage people to send us stories. Because some of the cool, weird, odd stuff is getting passed over right now. Because the propaganda machine is just churning it out. It's doing its thing. It's doing what it does best. Yeah. And Leo King warned about this. And it's like, I started to, I started a week ago, you know, as far as modern psyops and stuff. And I struggle with the depressions lots. Yeah. And hell, it was just getting me in such a dark place. I had to quit. Yeah. I had to quit. That's why I send you those TikToks. Well, I know that you do. And and I appreciate those TikToks a lot of times. But Kid and I were also talking as far as if we can provide mirth and levity and <clears throat> weirdness mm -hmm. to just one or two. Yeah. Because we understand that we are at the microscopic level. Yeah. And we're Micro okay. Man. We're okay with that. I'm good with it. I'm perfectly fine with it. You know, if we've got one or two people, like I said, that has a moment of joy or laughter or even even the ones that are going, damn, most people are dumb. That's okay. And that's part of our purpose. I, I just go yes and. <laughs> I yes and that shit. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, all this shit, and it's like, if I hear one more person comment about the twatter and who has been uh, reinstated, I couldn't give a rat's ass less. That's why I don't go on that side of YouTube, because there's nothing for me. There's well, nothing good. It's like, I don't get involved in social media because the shit is toxic. Depends on what side of social media you are on. I don't care any of this. I can think my own thoughts. I do not care. I do not sit and wait for somebody else to put forth some kind of words that people act like it is from on high. Now, if you if if people be hanging on what somebody else is thinking or uh, talking out of their ass or whatever, then people then. Get a little bit of a life. Seek some professional help. Touch grass. Touch grass. Go out and find out who you are. Don't allow somebody else to tell you who you are, how you're supposed to act, how you're, you know, what you're supposed to like, dress like, <clears throat> behave like. I mean, we do have some societal norms. In some places, you can't touch the grass because it's painted. I think it's pitiful that you've got places that have signs that say, don't walk on the grass. Because it's painted. <sighs> it ain't It ain't that green, it's painted. That's insane. I watched a video of someone literally paint half their yard green. And, For it, and real? it's a specific type of lawn paint, yeah. My grass God. paint. God. Yeah. And that is one of the things that we. And, and it was just like I like was, it was split down the middle, reading so. comments on a totally separate article. And any time that anybody does something that is moronic, they want to attach words such as hillbillies, rednecks, whatever. Again, these are urban people that are talking out of their asses because they usually don't know anything about our culture because they're talking out of their asses. Now, let me tell you something. I, and I really don't care because that whole sticks and stones thing. Mm -hmm. I was taught that as a child. Yeah. And it's like, okay, whatever. It's like, you think whatever you want of us, just leave us the hell alone. Yeah. Because we've been in these mountains for hundreds of years. Yeah. We could survive way longer than they could. We have, absolutely, we have our own ways of doing stuff. 
we can be a very accommodating people there it's like any place else there are some that are good representatives of our culture there are some that are not so good yeah we know they're there there's good and bad parts of every culture every single place on the planet utopia is never a, going to exist until i mean because if you add people People are, we are broken as a species. We screw up. That's part of humanity. Because it's constant battle between good and evil. Yeah. And it's which side that you choose. Yeah. You know? And even from day to day, there's inconsistency. Because we're human. Yeah. Yeah. You can't escape it. So No one makes it out alive either. Absolutely. It was Mark Twain. Don't take life so seriously. You'll never make it out of life. He was a brilliant man. Yeah. He really was. And if you're looking for one person to never make a mistake, speak inappropriately, whatever, there was one. And what did people do? They crucified him. You know, they hung yeah. him up on a tree. Yep. Uh, yep. So was his lot. Our lot is to try to bring mirth and it's like even a little bit of odd insanity amongst the mass insanity hell i ain't gonna let somebody tell me how to be insane i'm gonna do it my own way mm-hmm. insane in the membrane <laughs> absolutely in the brain. everybody needs to have their own flavor of insanity it's we ain't hurting spicy. nobody yeah we ain't hurting nobody we're a little bit salty I'm, I, you, you're salty. You want to be you, spicy? You salty over there. Okay. I, I'm spicy. I'm you want to be spicy? All right, you be spicy. I'm like though. a sour patch kid. First they're sweet, then they're sour. <laughs> oh, now for the actual cup of coffee for today. Yeah, somebody else they they trying to get the dregs rather than having. I feel sorry for the for the folks that's like, yes, you've got to find something weird and interesting today. Why don't they just go on TikTok and like interview those people on there it, that have like weird They went shit. close to it. They went close to it. This is from Daily Star, November 21st of 2022. And this is by Lee McManus. A Bigfoot hunter has claimed that humans are a foreign species on Earth and invaded the planet to take it from the Squatches. Huh? It's, who? The conspiracy. Who is he? For, who is he? The conspiracy Never heard of him. Does he go here? Posted his tale on the r slash Bigfoot subreddit. So they have resorted to Reddit. Okay. And that's okay. Saying that's that fine. the Squatches mm-hmm. were the, quote, true original intelligent inhabit- inhabitants, rather, of this planet, end quote. How do we know? How do you know? Well, How do you know this well, it goes on. The unnamed Bigfoot enthusiast didn't he have like a handle or anything that they call him? Uh, Everybody uh, have a screen name. Uh, you can post anon- anonymously. Okay. He said, "Quote: We are the aliens here because the mythical beast allegedly existed many years before us." I often think about how much Bigfoot is the apex predator and master of the wilderness, truly adapted to live and thrive out there. I also think about my own conclusion of the human species being a genetically manipulated hybrid race by outside forces. I believe we were seated here, created here, probably by an extraterrestrial intelligence, end quote. That's not a bad thought to have. That's, no, I can see that. I sure. can see that. That's somebody asking questions, thinking for themselves. No, I can see that. That's, I, a, that's a very reasonable, you know, question. It is. And it says, on the post that inspired much discussion, the person continued, quote, So Bigfoot are more than likely the true, original, intelligent inhabitants of oh, this planet. We are the newcomers. We are the aliens here. 150 to 200,000 years ago, we <clears throat> pop up and poor old Neanderthal disappears. Mm. How much longer has the Sasquatch been here for? Hundreds of thousands of years longer? Millions? They are the true custodians of the earth, not us. End quote. 
I mean, we all know that the world got reset, like, at some point, like, everything got wiped. Oh, more than once. Wiped out. So, like, obviously people had to be put back well, at some point. Yeah, they've had, again, I, I refer to the Vedic uh, scriptures. They they have history as far as the Yugas that there's been quite a few resets. Like, people have had to be put back, like, more than once. Mm-hmm. Like, this ain't just, like, any random, like... Like, they are strategic... Like, people had to be strategic, strategically placed on this earth. Yeah, or and, recreated or modified yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And it says that... Um, Somehow. A second person had wrote... Uh, let's see if somebody else wrote this. One person in agreement responded, quote, I've thought about this. Possibly that we are even a Bigfoot slash alien hybrid. Uh, they laughed me off this sub when I brought it up once. However, I'm still here, end quote. <laughs> well, good for that yeah. person. Yeah. Don't let somebody bully you off of a message board. A second person wrote, quote, maybe, all things considered, it's not that far out. I've certainly heard things that make less sense, end quote. Yeah. So I think it's wonderful that these people are thinking for themselves. Yes, there's a lot of people now that actually think this sort of thing. Yeah, and surprisingly, the person's post was unanimously supported with a third person writing, quote, perfectly explained. I can say I completely agree with you. In fact, I feel that it makes more sense than the other explanations that have been mainstreamed, end quote. I mean, I can see that. I think like, it's I perfectly can... feasible. Yeah, I can see that. And, you know, I'm, I'm you have told me before, I, I've never been a Reddit user Mm-hmm. Because I don't do social and much of anything. Um, I just, I don't know. But a lot of people have poo-pooed Reddit. Yeah, because that's your side of YouTube. They always do that. Well, and so apparently there are, and that's where you have explained to me, that there are different subcategories yeah. and stuff in it. Yeah, there's subreddits, subsections of subreddits. Right. You know. And there's, there's subreddits within subreddits. There have been things that uh, I have have read doing research for our cups here. Other quotes and stuff that have been taken from Reddit. Mm-hmm. There's some, you know, thought-provoking topics there. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I support that anywhere. Because it's where people... It's the modern message board, seriously. Right. It's where people go. It's the hub of everything now. Yeah. So that's like not... Like, it is the true hub. Is it what yeah. have the other ones fell out of favor? I don't know. It's remember. just like that's where a lot of people go. People can like a truly anom- anonymously post right. and just leave it at that, you know. And there does need to be a place for that. And that was one of the wonderful things about the Wild West early internet days. You could. Yeah. You could type in anything. And <laughs> some you would find. Now you had to be specific. Mm-hmm. You had to be almost binary code in how you asked a question. Coffee slurp. Very specific. I mean, it was just really cool. It was disturbing. Yeah. You could find just easily find some really disturbing things. Oh yeah. I miss those days. I do. I miss them. You have greatly to you have to dig now yeah to, to find like truly disturbing shit right and the fact that you've got all these people tracing you and tracking you and oh, how dare you ask this question and it's like i mean you could just be sitting about randomly and go hmm wonder if anyone has ever and type that in and buy shit almost every time somebody had yeah and things that you're going oh god why why <laughs> I have this perpetually perplexed look on my face. Yes. I don't. Because it doesn't shock me. I, that's why I'm just like, it, the people are going to be people. Like, you just go through it and you do just ride the waves, man. Well, I've, I've you done that for it. so long. You just it's like at with a it. certain point, I feel like I'm dead in the water. There are the days, everybody. A dead float. You just fucking. <laughs> fl- but sit, damn you it, just you know I can't through. float. You know I can't float. You, you gotta let your body I just relax. It, it's not in my being. I have had people try to teach me that since I was a kid. It just doesn't happen. I was born tense. <laughs> 
But I'm glad that there, you know, are parts of Reddit or some place for people to sit and be able to have an intelligent discussion about these things. Yeah, you can actually find a lot of really good shit on Reddit. Yeah. And, like, there are places that even people, like, confession boards or whatever, where people can anon- anonymously be like, I did this and I did that. No, I don't think I need I to go there. I did a stupid. I did a stupid. And someone in people literally post, am I the asshole for blank? <laughs> <laughs> There's this one, like, Oh, God, what did she do? Did they not recognize whether they did right or wrong? Most of the time, it's either a blatant, yeah, you're the asshole, or no, you were completely in the right for what you did. But who are these people that are trying to provide absolution? Do they know right from wrong? It's them. At, that's this why is they're why asking. I, that they're asking, am I the asshole? Because they, like, they think that they may be the asshole because they were... I know, but the people that are telling them yes or no, what are their qualifications Life for experience. what is right and wrong? Life experience, because you... you the stuff that they're asking, you cannot get it other than life experience. Okay. And everybody, and a lot of people have had very similar situations at okay. some point of their life. Maybe. I don't know. It, it's just, this, this is why I sit and I read. This is why I even avoid. <laughs> I have done some of the message boards back in the day. I just I don't play well with others. Apparently, I just go on there and re- and read. Like I I posted like one thing to the Bratz subreddit. It'd be like, which doll is this? And I got an as answer far back. as collectors. Yeah, I got an answer back real quick, and it was, you know, there was you had said that there was a huge com- community of doll collectors, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that was a thing. Like there's a whole on like Barbie. Like there's a whole on convention yeah. for that. For her. Well, see, That's I had, for her alone. I had never thought about it. Yeah. BJDs, like, there's a whole community for that. Well, and as far oh. as appreciating the art, and that was what you have always appreciated, the art of it. Because it is art. Someone has to design these sure. and sculpt them. Sure. So. I don't know. I think I just, I've never worked well on this planet. I have never worked well on this planet. You just got to learn to vibe when to vibe, man. You <laughs> got it. You I'm got it. I'm 57. I don't think. I think if I was going to get it, I would have got it by now. I do pretty good. I'm, yeah, I'm you're doing vibing. well. You're doing well. I'm just sitting here doing my nerd thing. I sit. I read. I'm usually pretty well quiet. I keep to myself. I have my mental breakdowns when I have my mental <laughs> breakdowns and the ghost everyone when I am. Well, it's just like my mental breakdowns include cathartic music, which is usually like five finger death punch, Marilyn Manson. Oh no! If some I'm, of those people I, like if that. I, if I break, there is going to be waterworks. There is going to be drama. There is oh, going to be flailing and crying and wailing. <laughs> it's going to sound. It's going to sound like someone got murdered. Someone close to me oh, got murdered, shit. and I am mourning them. Well, that's when you go up to the cabin and you get it out of your system and call have, the Squatch. I have yeah. called for the Squatch. Oh, God. And I have screamed up there. I have yelled. I have done it. And that's okay. And I have people, done it in here, too. Well, people need to have... It's usually when I'm out of the house, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Rather than me calling 911. Uh, no, you gotta get the... If, a if, you have a chan- if you have a chance to be dramatic, you don't be dramatic. Mm. You need, sometimes you just need to get that shit out of you. I, you know, I'm not, personally, I'm not that, I'm one of the most low drama people out there. But I get thrust into these heinous, dramatic situations, and I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? You find the humor within it, and you learn well, to laugh at yeah, it. Yeah, that's what we try to do. That's like Nana crawling under the tree, and I'm just like, what the oh, fuck God. you doing? <laughs> the fuck you doing? Go sit down. <laughs> ah. Go sit down. Like, literally. Oh. I turn around. Like, I'm facing BB at the fence, and then I turn around. I hear Nana grunting and groaning behind me, and I'm like, what? what is going on back there? And I see her try, hunched over trying to it's crawl seven. under this branch, and I'm like, the fuck? you do it go sit down 78 Why are you crawling up through under the tree why didn't you go there's holes the other way and so you decide to climb up the way that there's holes in a, in a giant tree 78 year old who's recently <laughs> broken her <Girl>. shoulder 
up on the side of a mountain trying to climb under a tree and it's just like what the fuck are you doing it's just like i was trying not to be like the what's going on here Shoo. Like, it's funny. Like, that shit is no, funny. No, that's just absurd. There's a it's difference. It's funny. <laughs> it's, abs- it's funny because it's oh. absurd. It's funny because it's just like, damn, what Hales the fuck you bells. doing? You really? What the fuck you doing? <laughs> now, see, this is where I'd have been like, get your eyes down. <laughs> I was like, get the fuck in the fuck. Go inside. <laughs> it's just that's crazy like you gotta laugh at that because situation. that is i don't t- there's a most things seriously i don't take seriously that's just i don't take it that seriously anymore i'm well, just over it you can't because you will lose your mind exactly you truly lose your mind exactly so like It's like you do you. It's just like I know my intentions. All of us are just I'm down good. here schlepping along, trying to do the best we can. If somebody thinks that they have got all the shit figured out, well, hell, go ahead and ascend and leave the rest of us alone. Down exactly. Here. Just let me be. Let me be that little floaty ball, that, <laughs> that floater on the fishing line. Let me just be that little the ball. bobber. Yeah, the bobber. <laughs> just let me do that. Let me be that that just floats there, and once mm. in a while, like whoa. Yeah. I'm good. And pop, but, you always pop back up. But it's also one of those that even the most obscure person, if you listen to them for a while, sometimes they'll they'll have some kind of nugget that you can take. And there was an old saying that's like, you know, eat, uh, take the meat, throw away the bones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And if it gets to the point you're like, no, this is wearing on me, then just go ahead and turn it off. There's nothing for you to learn other than going, yeah, I don't yeah. feel like dealing with this today. Right. Yeah. Just go along. With, you go with the flow, man. If you don't feel like watching the rest of it, then don't. Yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. I don't. I don't watch the news because I have no interest in I it. I can understand that because it bothers you. Yeah. It's like, why would I purposefully? induct myself into something that's going to cause me like right. mental well it doesn't usually issue. cause me it's just like i said the the period of time you're going hmm we've got some mass psychosis going on again and going leo king had warned about the propaganda he also had warned that like those sheep going in that circle he said if all the people are going this direction go the opposite i don't yeah. have a problem with that yeah <laughs> Some of us was born rebellious. And that's all right. What happens if you go like, so you're going the complete opposite way, they're going the other way. What happens if you just be like, look at both ends and you're just going like sideways? That's okay. Because it's steel. It doesn't <laughs> matter. Because I'm going, because that's, that's the way I'm... Just like... <laughs> Don't be a sheep. Do not be a sheep. You can be a Bigfoot. That's what we encourage. We encourage people to be a Sasquatch. If you can be anything, be a Sasquatch. The caveman on a conveyor belt. Yeah. I miss those caveman commercials. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. But there are theories, going back to this, that Neanderthal, or Neanderthal, I think is how they're pronouncing it on some places, did not totally die out. And there are now some there are people, theories. honest to God, there are some people that you can look at them and go, ah, that's that's not quite the same species. There, I believe that there are there subspecies are within human, species. There are some people that you look at and it's just like Neanderthal forehead. Yeah. Like they got a Neanderthal It's not face. a judgment. It's just an observation. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, okay, that's I went to school with one. Did you really? Yes. And I'm like. It's interesting. Let, let me just like press that in. It don't work further. that way. <laughs> it don't work that way. I wanted it to though. Well, it's just like like you know, like those little adjustment sliders or whatever on video games. That's what we need. Like before we go into a body, we just need to be like, there we go. If we are in a, in some kind of like simulation and video game, whoever is the person that's what do you call it the controller behind my character the one playing god needs to have a good slap because that's what you do in the sims basically you're playing god sure it is have you ever played sims no it's fun no 
It's nice. And, and it's just like, you know, where your brother is, <clears throat> you know, computer you game would, designer. And I'm like, you're playing God. And he's like, yeah, sort of. You would actually like The Sims, though. I don't do. I can't sit still that long. Well, that's fine. It's just a game that you play for like five minutes and then you get, you go out of the room. And then you yeah. come back and play for another five minutes and then you do something else. That's, while why, they're I, doing. that's why I like the little match three mind numbing shit. It works for me. You got to be careful, though. Sometimes they will set themselves on fire. <laughs> what is it that this, the theme of people setting themselves on fire? Of course, you say that because you singed the hairs off of your hand playing with the wood stove downstairs. I was just trying to put more wood in the fire and I didn't have my glove on, okay? I didn't know that the fire was just going to be like, whoosh, the fire all of a hot? sudden. God. No, it was like dead almost when I put oh. the wood in. And then as soon as I put the wood in, like this fucking gust of wind went in and it just went like oh. over my hand. And next, I'm like, oh, next time close that bottom door where it doesn't act as the the damper. Yeah. Anyhow, life lessons. You lived. I didn't get hurt. You lived. I'm just like, hmm, I smell this. I smell the smell of burning hair off my hand. Oh, my God. Like, hmm, what smells like burning? Oh, that's my <laughs> hand. So, if you've not set I, yourself on went, fire today, but, you're doing well. But I have literally, like, in The Sims, this was, like, The Sims 2, because I've never played The Sims 1, but in The Sims 2, it was really easy to catch The Sims on fire. It was really easy. Oh, things you can't Especially do if they don't know how to cook. Life. If they don't know how to cook, they will set that stove now on see, fire. And if you do not have a fire extinguisher or a um, fire a fire alarm in your house in The Sims, they won't come. And so you're if you sometimes The Sims are stupid and they get trapped and they die. See, that's sometimes the... sometimes they they even like up, up until now The Sims Four they didn't know how to get out of pools. So you could get, you could take away the ladder and drown them. See that and that, that distresses me because that is too close to real life. I like my little match three games. You can you can turn <laughs> you can make zombies in it too. Oh, vampires. God. You can make vampires, mm. fairies, mm. werewolves. Anything no. aliens? No. There's aliens. There's actually lore. There's not with a, aliens. There in is it. not a Sasquatch there. Yeah, who's? Yeah, there is. Is there a there, Sasquatch? Yeah, there's hmm. a, I, Maybe. There's a mod for that. There's always mods for it. <laughs> Any closing thoughts? I would rather play The Sims in real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe this is what the reset is. It's, it's just a hard reset. Turn the shit off. Turn it back I'm on. I'm down with that. Like, seriously. The, like, Reboot. Shut the game down. Delete the files. Reinstall it. There you go. <laughs> she said backup. It's not even the backup. backup. Just a hard reinstall. <laughs> Anyhow. No data left over whatsoever. If you've had experience with paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, some of these interesting Reddit message boards that talk about the supernatural and the stuff like that that you, you would like to our, share. You should go on r slash no sleep. No. Yeah, that's a good one. That's where not, all the scary stories are. Yes, but not tonight. Not tonight. I need to reread The Exorcist again. I may do that. I have books stored away for when it snows. But there's like truth. I think some of them are true stories on r slash no sleep. Right. No sleep is like a subreddit. Right. So. For the insomniacs. No, it's because it's scary. It will keep oh, okay. you right? no, like, well, it's, it's like the, it's like the Reddit version. It's like the Reddit version of Creepypasta almost. Okay. okay. So. Our email address is cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And that'll be in the description box as will the link to uh, the article today. Yeah. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all, and have a good Play The Sims. <laughs> know that you're loved. Know that it's okay to be unique as long as you're not hurting yourself or somebody else. Yeah. Don't let somebody else tell you how to live. We're about ready to get The Sims 5 and... and the Sims 4 doesn't have jack shit hardly. Um, match 3. It's okay to play. Sims 2 was the best one. <laughs> Sims 2. Uh, we'll see you on the next cup. Except for Joy Desperate. Fuck Joy Desperate. <laughs> Bye. Bye.